my first question to everybody, and I ask everybody whenever I'm teaching or presenting on emotion, because this is physical emotion regulation, is before I even start to talk about um, emotions and um, where emotions come from and um, what this method is, is um, take a moment and ask yourself, how are you feeling? How are you feeling right now? And what is coming up for you as you answer that question? Are you sensing emotion? Or are you sensing things that are uh, physical sensations or conditions in your environment? What words came to mind? As we describe when somebody asks us how we're feeling, Oftentimes those questions come up with answers that might oftentimes be quite limited. And oftentimes people have a difficult time identifying how they're feeling. And so different researchers have uh, actually gone into this question a great deal lately and they've been researching thousands of people and asking them how are you feeling and um, looking at what they come up with and depending on the branch of science or the type of researcher they are they're looking for different answers and they're finding different answers but what some of them are finding is a, particularly a very limited vocabulary so one particular scientist or researcher she found that most people tend to describe if they are describing in emotional terms, an extremely limited vocabulary of only three words, happy, sad, or angry. And so for those of you who might have answered that question that I asked in emotion terms, ask yourself if you used emotion words and what kind of emotion words you might have used. And then how did you know that you felt that way? What were you sensing? Was it because something was happening outside of yourself that was making you feel that way? It was something that you were thinking? Or were you actually sensing something physical in the way that you were breathing or the way that your muscles were moving or the way that you're, you were sitting, the way that you were existing and breathing in the world? Well, people's vocabulary tends to be this limited in, in what the researchers are finding. So this is Brene Brown, she's a researcher, and she found that this, these three words were typically what people came up with. And then in her continued research, she realized too that if we want to be emotionally fluent or uh, emotionally literate, as some of these terms are coming out right now, that we should actually have the ability to sense at least a good 30 different emotional sensations in our body. And so this is the list of words that she had, including happy, sad, angry. She included these other words, 